With Bitcoin completing its cup and handle pattern, hitting the 67k, a correction was definitely due. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the recent pullback that we've seen with Bitcoin and what we might expect to happen next. As you get into this video, if you do find it useful and informative, hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, why not go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with all that said, done and out of the way, let's actually jump down into the Bitcoin charts here and take a look at what's going on with Bitcoin. So obviously we are still tracking the five impulsive waves to the upside. Some really good kind of price expectations. If we just zoom out on this daily, you can kind of see exactly the kind of structure that has been going on here. We have a good kind of impulsive move. Let me just actually grab hold of my brush here. So we can see that starting back, um, actually pretty much at the end of the bull run uh, previously, right? So December 2018 was actually the lower area. We did have a pullback here in March, but it was actually higher than that of, um, of what actually happened previously. The bull run did technically start way back in 2018, early 2019. The pullback and the pandemic pulled us down a little bit lower. That completed wave two before we really went up nice and strongly with wave three. Now this third impulsive wave was a massive one, right? Obviously we'd seen um, pretty much during during um, this run about 1,600%, if I just bring this back in line with our high area here, about 1,600% in a very short space of time, right? So significant gains were made. The pullback from 65K to 28K, again, came as a shock to many, but ultimately was something that was very much needed. There was definitely manipulation going on at the top with the Wyckoff distribution model. A Wyckoff accumulation started to form at the bottom of wave two, and now we're firmly in our impulsive move to the upside with, uh, you know, with Bitcoin here, really pushing up nicely. Now, there's some interesting kind of price targets where we take into consideration our trend lines, take into consideration the pull back that we had with wave two, the impulsive move that we had with wave three, and the correction that we had with wave four, this could potentially show Bitcoin moving up to $287,000. I do think that's a bit extreme and I, you know, I'd like to see it, but something that I'm not actually anticipating happening in this particular cycle. With that being said, though, if it does happen, I'll be one a very happy guy. So a full 4.236 based on the trends of two, three, and four could potentially be 287K. I think though, however, we're most likely to end up somewhere between 150 and 100. 80k i know plan b has actually said 135k uh, by his kind of december kind of price expectations um, so again, everything's lining up quite nicely for these much, much higher numbers. I am expecting in November a good surge to the upside. And I'm going to go through what's going on here with this pullback after hitting that uh, 67k price prediction that we uh, we had uh, earlier in the month and to see exactly what happens next. So obviously the green line was my original kind of price expectation based on the cup and handle, taking us to 67k. We got the rejection from here on this daily chart. And again, very much a pullback that was very much needed after a huge surge to the upside. Now, what's really interesting after today's pullback is we have now basically completed an ABC. Now, of course, we can potentially go down lower, but this is a really good area for a good bounce. And the reason for this is it actually forms a good support level that we were previously struggling at to get past as resistance. This came in nicely at the 50, let me just make sure I get that right for you guys, 57,800 level, okay? We actually whipped down today to 58 thousand exactly okay so there was a good bouncing area right here which was previously an area of resistance and um, so now we've turned and confirmed that as a support line this means that basically we could be looking for a nice impulsive move now for the month of november so as things line up we could potentially see a good surge above the 67k area back test to the 67 turning that into a support and again that would be an abc correction wave moving up nicely into wave three wave four pullback and then another wave five surge to the upside the expectation is to push Bitcoin above the $100,000 price target um, for the month of November. This is something that I do think is likely to happen. And provided that this is just an ABC correction and is not an impulsive, uh, you know, waves, uh, five impulse waves to the downside, because we could have one, two, three, uh, and then obviously a bounce to the upside and then a fifth come back down. This would actually then allow for an ABC correction to the upside and potentially more impulsive moves to the downside. So it's important that we acknowledge that we are trying to push ahead. Again, we couple everything that we have here on Bitcoin's chart with the stochastic RSI, along with our support and resistance lines, we could start to see that we're oversold and we're looking for a good surge to the upside. Over the next few days and weeks, I do anticipate us moving from the oversold status that we are today up to the overbought area. We just take a look at what was going on with our cup and handle as we exited out of there. We were overbought pretty much from 
the 2nd of October all the way through to the 20th of October. This pullback, this correction that we've seen right here has basically taken us all the way down to this oversold area on the stochastic ready to grow to the upside. This is absolutely bullish guys. It basically means we have loads of room to grow now. Now we've actually had this kind of correction. The profits have been taken after this huge surge to the upside. Nothing moves in straight lines. A completion of an ABC at this point could be fantastic for a good surge to the upside where we do actually go ahead and take out these key levels. Ultimately, we are looking to kind of move up a little bit um, as we continue this growth. And I do anticipate us moving up nicely above the 67K before another ABC correction could potentially be due. That potentially would come in somewhere in kind of the first few weeks of November um, before we continue that surge to the upside. It will be a quick ABC and then off we go again, I would have thought. Of course, it could be you know, something that we actually last longer. We actually go riding this much higher in November and we actually see the correction at the end of the end, uh, end of November, beginning of December, right? Timing is always the hardest thing to gauge. And But right now, everything's looking very, very good for Bitcoin. When we jump over to the Avida.io dashboard and we take a look at the underlying value of the cryptocurrency using the artificial intelligence and machine learning here at Avai, we can see and we're an A3 cryptocurrency rating for Bitcoin right now. This is a good tell. It basically is top tier cryptocurrency ratings, even though we've had this pullback. When we go into the fear and greed index, we can see the general crypto fear and greed index along with the market fear and greed index. Now we are, of course, below the market fear and greed, and greed index with crypto as a whole. Um, but again, this is actually a B3 rating, so pretty neutral. We're not extremely fearful, but we are on the cusp of a little bit of fear right now. The sharp ratio is still indicating an A2 rating. Basically, it's saying that a reward outweigh the risk specifically as we line up for the longer kind of price predictions i think ultimately exposure to bitcoin could potentially be lucrative for those people who uh, who really do like this particular um crypto as we come on down we do have uh, amihad ratio in a2 rating again no problems with liquidity now previously as we were coming up out of our cup and handle there were some liquidity based problems right now that's actually been completely resolved everything on that kind of front is actually making buying and selling bitcoin a lot bit easier moving across we have the moving averages looking very good at an a2 rating 10 50 and 100 day averages are looking pretty good the profitability in a1 rating obviously we have seen pretty significant gains uh, not as good as you know ethereum or many of those altcoins but you know as a, far as a safe bet goes and definitely a hedge against the inflation Bitcoin has definitely performed well with uh, with pretty good lucrative returns so far. So ultimately, everything's looking very, very good from the underlying data here for Bitcoin. With an ABC potentially on the, on the horizon of being completed, we could now start to see a good surge with that move to the upside overall. Just looking to come above the 60K level to invalidate the ABC correction and continue that growth to the upside. When we jump into our hourly... You get to see this in a little bit more of the detail, right? So basically, we come down for our A, we push up for our B. And again, we're up in the overbought areas. We complete wave B. We're pulling back down into the oversold area. And what we're now looking for is to basically push above that 60k level really invalidate that wave a continue to go up above wave b really push nicely and then we should be in a pretty good position to complete this out now as we can see this downward trend here we can obviously see there's a you know a good in kind of impulsive move to the downside here and what we're now looking for is to see whether or not we're going to complete this in a nice strong way right now we are potentially on that sign that kind of cusp of basically saying yeah that could be the bottom and considering everything that's going on right now down at this lower bound on our stochastic rsi so all eyes are on bitcoin right now to see whether or not we actually have completed this whether our fifty-eight thousand uh, dollar area is holding nicely this would be playing very very nicely to the overall pattern um, and again this could then surge us take us to the next level uh, in terms of uh, november and where everything on bitcoin is going so ultimately very bullish kind of uh, things going on here with btc right now and um, so i will leave the analysis is there hopefully you have found this useful and informative if you have hit that like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel why not go ahead and subscribe tap that bell select all notifications and in doing so you'll be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one